All right, time now for Seize the Moment, presented by Gainbridge. South Carolina enters the Final Four undefeated for the second straight year. They have lost just one game in the last year, and, well, that came a season ago to Iowa in the semis. Uh, LaChina, what do they need to do to seize the moment tonight and make it to the title game on Sunday? This is easier said than done, Sam, because we are at the Final Four, and right. there is so much hoopla, and the spotlight is out here, and all these amazing fans have come to see these four teams. But what I will say, South Carolina has to stay loose. Y'all keep cheering. South Carolina has to stay loose. That is what I love about this team, is that they play so relaxed and that's not something that you would expect from the team that doesn't have a ton of experience right. when they have lost big leads let teams get in get back into games at the end Dawn Staley doesn't call a timeout she really trusts this team there's just a sense of confidence a different level of confidence that allows this team to play very relaxed so I think they just can't let the nerves get to them of course you're going to feel those butterflies the first few moments but then they've got to settle in and do what they've done all year and that's play cool calm and collect you mentioned a, a shift have you noticed a shift in how dawn has gone about coaching this team compared to say years prior even last year yes there is a higher level of trust considering the age of this team meaning the, the, the sure. experience level dawn has let them play through their mistakes um, she seems very, very trusting of this team, um, you know, and I don't know if it's that Dawn's getting older or the team's younger, and she's like, listen, I can't, these gray hairs, right, like, <laughs> when you bring in the, the younger team, but, uh, yeah, I have seen a shift, and I, and I feel like she really trusts this team, and it's, it's beautiful to watch, because they kind of are allowed to learn their way through their mistakes and look at where it's gotten them. All right, so we've talked about South Carolina, we've talked about Iowa, we've talked about UConn. We're missing one. We are missing one. That would be the NC State Wolfpack. Do we have NC State Wolfpack fans here? Let's hear, let's hear what Oh, we are. We are. <laughs> they said that they were going to be the. These are Iowa fans that want to see some of the back here. Carolina. I see some Wolfpack bread. Um, so they said that NC State said they were going to be the party crashers yeah. at the Final Four. Yeah. I don't think a lot of people thought that they would be in this spot. They were picked to finish eighth in the ACC preseason poll. They didn't win the ACC regular season title. They didn't win the ACC tournament title in Greensboro. Keep yet. going, Sam. Tell them all the things they didn't do. Yet here they are. <laughs> but out of the four teams that are here, LaChina, NC State might have had the uh, least stressful time getting here, winning in the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight by double figures. There's something to be said for that. There is. And I'll be honest with you, I picked NC State to be here. Um, there is something about this team that's really special, and, and I think a big part of it is their backcourt. What we've seen from Saniya Rivers and Isaiah James, like this has been a phenomenal run. To play against a Texas team, a Stanford team, these are teams that have been there, that have pedigree. I know it's been a while since NC State has gotten to the Final Four, but they played with great determination. And their style of play and how they attack you downhill in the open court, and come on, seven for nine from three-point land for Isaiah James, that's not bad either. Um, this is a team that I've been very impressed with, and I don't think they should be counted out. Give me an X factor for NC State tonight. Tonight Rivers, for sure. And it's not the X and O's, it's the emotional side of it. Okay. She spent her freshman season at South Carolina, so she was there with you know the the now juniors that sure. are, are that are there, and so I think that can have an emotional toll when you're playing against your friends, when you're thinking about that team that you used to be a part of, and I think she's got to be able to put that aside and just play her game.